I was going to do a little uh, wrap up for 2019 for Twisted T Livestock. We uh, we were very blessed this year. We had a, uh, a really good year. We're kind of a small uh, bull business program and uh, we have to travel a lot to get to events and uh, we actually had a pretty good year I felt like for uh, the amount of cows and, and bulls that we have. Um, I'm just going to give you a few highlights of the bulls that uh, did good for us. Um, 807 Sock Knocker, uh, he did really good in the yearling class. He's one of those bulls that, uh, you know, I could take him and I could count on him uh, about every time. He's, I'm not going to say he was the rankest bull there, but he was going to do his deal every out. I think that bull ended up uh, number four uh, for the whole year. Um, and, you know, I think there might have been 150, 60, 70 yearlings that competed. Uh, that, that's not too bad for a little old bull coming from Georgia. Um, so he did, uh, he did really good. Matter of fact, I took him uh, a couple weeks ago for an event that's going to count for 2020, and I think he was like 88 and a half. He's already got some money won going into 2020. Um, that's 807 Sock Knocker. Looking forward to his future. Another bull that <clears throat> uh, Lee hauled was a 15E Cornerstone. We're partners with that bull, uh, with uh, Broom Hines Bucking Bulls. Um, we kind of bought him as a breed bull, but he ended up being a really special uh, fraternity calf. Um, he was really good at the beginning of the year, so we kind of put him in the women's class, and he really, by the middle of the year, he kind of excelled. I felt like he kind of peaked uh, and, and just got to be a great bull then. Um, uh, I think he ended up third for the year in the women's. Um, he won a lot of those women's events. Lee did really good with him. He uh, he can be a little bit of a, a live wire there, so uh, she did good handling him, and um, he's a pretty special calf. Um, uh, we're going to turn him out. I think uh, Randy and Will, they're going to turn him out. Put him out on some cows, then I'm going to get him back and put him out on some cows, and uh, hopefully we'll have some uh, little cornerstone babies hitting the ground next year. <clears throat> uh, a highlight um, of that bull I felt like was at the American Heritage. He, um, he It's a long ways to Duncan, Oklahoma. It's about 15, 16 hours, from, and so I was a little worried about taking him out there, but took him out there, and uh, he ended up... Uh, being 92.4 points at that event, um, it was pretty special out. And I think that bull's got a lot of heart, and I think he's going to pass that on to his calves. Uh, we're just, right now, we're just kind of growing him up, getting him a little bigger. After we get done breeding with him, we'll be uh, we'll be right back at it. So, um, next bull I'm kind of fond of is 531 Western Skies. Um, didn't really have the classic year like we wanted with him. He got hurt. Uh, we took him to uh, the first event of the year was Fort Worth. Uh, he kind of come around there and he hit the um, hit the uh, buck and shoot gate. Uh, but he uh, he was kind of lame there for a little while. Um, I ended up bringing him back to Georgia, putting him on cows. Um, he uh, but he's uh, he's pretty healthy now. Cord got him back. I don't know middle of the year. Uh, Cord worked with him a lot took him some of those PBR deals and he he did really good he he he, he took care of some pretty good riders last year um, at the at the PBRs kind of looking forward to him uh, with his uh, buck and bull career I'm looking forward to uh, a set of calves I have that I'm about to go through that um, uh, are his and uh, the calves that are about to hit the ground that'll be his so <coughs> if they have half the heart he did well they'll be good so we're very blessed to have have had a good year um looking forward to 2020 if you keep watching the video i'll put some of those outs uh at the end of the video and um i appreciate you watching looking forward to 2020 and hopefully we can do another video and have a little success <laughs> Take
How about a 9240? Oh, ho, ho. She got the green line. 9240.